Ocean Reefers. Hope everybody's had a good week. And today's video, we're going to concentrate on water parameters that we use and advise for the different types of corals. And also we're going to go through the different corals and the ease that you can keep them at. So uh, let me get on with it. And we'll start off talking a little bit as I walk around the shop about water parameters. Now, everybody gets their knickers in a twist a little bit about water parameters and everybody feels as if they've got to strive for an actual figure. I mean, to be honest, it's more stability than actual accuracy. Well, that's in my view anyway. Um, too many people strive just to get these magical numbers and, and they just get themselves in a bit of a mess. So uh, here at Planet Ocean, we advise just to obviously have a ballpark figure, uh, but you try to um, just get as close to that as possible and more consistency. Um, you don't have to keep it exact at that number. I mean, you just try to uh, keep the, the levels close to that number and if it rises or, or go down a little bit, then you just try to keep that number slowly rising up or back down depending on uh, if it's too high or too low. Anyway, uh, parameters that we mainly keep are in for our aquariums and um, the temperature we try to keep around about 25 degrees um, then we go on to the KH levels the KH levels uh, we try to keep anywhere between 8 and 10 dKH um, ideally around about 9 gives you little bits of swings as I say but anywhere between 8 and 10 and as long as you raise them slowly or let them drop slowly um, keep them constant with either the aid of a doser or a calcium reactor then usually you know your corals will be quite happy with stability like that um, the salinity side of it we keep it at 1.02526 again if it goes up or low just make small changes don't make anything drastic uh, moving on to calcium the calcium we try to keep at about 450 ppm as i say anywhere between 400 and 500 is is fine and as long as you keep it moving up and down at those levels then you're fine uh, we move into magnesium magnesium to be honest doesn't drop an awful lot in the aquariums and we try to keep those levels around about 1350 but up to 1500 is fine again just slowly letting it rise up and down uh, just to keep those levels constant. Right, we'll move on to the different types of corals now. Obviously for beginners and people just starting up where their parameters will be swinging up and down a little bit, then we would advise keeping some softer corals, uh, which are the type that are down here. They're not hard skeleton corals, they're just soft corals that are easier to keep, they can on the whole take um, larger parameter swings and generally an easier keep coral. Um, easily kept as well are your zoas and your mushrooms, which we have quite a nice selection here at the moment. Moving on from the soft corals, and once your water is a little bit more mature and also a bit more stable, you've gone through that horrible algal phase, then you can move on to LPS corals. LPS corals are long polyp stony corals. Um, they still build a, a calcium skeleton, but they are generally easier to keep. Obviously there are exceptions to the rule, but if you ask when you come in, then we can point things out. LPS corals, as in the ones you see down here, they are generally easier to keep usually requiring less light requirements as well, not so intense. And that brings us on then to more intense lighting, a more stable tank, obviously something that's an aquarium that's more mature would be your SPS corals. That's mainly all the ones that we have along here. There's Montipora, which are actually one of the easiest ones to keep, as my video the other day described, your bird's nests and your hystrixes. They're all a lot easier to keep. 
and as I say stability again is the key together with good quality high lighting we have some nice frags in at the moment some SPS ones now these are the ones that I say as your tank matures more and we've got some nice frags there starting at 20 pound there's a few more frags here which we've done which are the 20 pound frags Anyway, that about wraps it up for today. I'll we'll say we keep that the same for all these parameters and everything, the same for our large display tank as well. I'll say we'll wrap that things up for today. And uh, thank you for watching. And goodbye.